on most recently Pacific Esports, a Bolivian organization, uh, Team Unknown, Infamous, G Pride. And you can cast them from the high ground here, you know, where they're not supposed to have vision, but this ward provides vision over. And that's what we're talking about. We usually don't see points in Lightning Bolt, though, but I think for the sake of dewarding, you might just buy the Sentry, to be honest. Stinger looking to run here. They nearly get the kill onto him for first blood, taking a bit of damage. Axe continuing to run at him. Very he excited. Plays Invoker 12 times here. Win rate of 58%, which isn't bad. Which is not bad. Abo's taking a couple days off here. Needs to be careful as we'll miss first blood. That actually is going to happen down bottom. Let's not miss the follow up kill though. Okay, top lane, Roboseta with the Cold Temple Flight. Bramble Maze. They're going to get the first one. That's going to be a Sun Strike coming in. He's going to have to run into another Bramble there just to get out of that one. Chris Luck, though, in the meantime, is going to be able to get the kill with the DD rune for the most part. Strength stolen by Edge. Schofield. Okay, he's going to stick around and just die. Yeah, so Roboseta. Oh, a great call, actually, before the Slytherin Crush comes through. It's spinning as well to win is the Rakil. Sunstrike right onto the Rakil. They might have the damage here. Fairy Fire consumed. Madara, though, in some trouble. Has the multi-shot at the ready. Uses it to get the kill. But now Wish with the Maiden right clicks looking to kill the Drow Ranger. Is going to have this kill as well. Tombstone dropped in the top lane. They're going to look for a kill then onto Whisper. That is very, very easy there. But now it's just going to be able to slap him in the face there. Level, th level th three points in the cleave. And it's once again taking a top lane. They're fighting though. There it is. Yodomi in trouble. I heard Crunchy make him bleed. I was like, Whisper, what's going on here? Yodomi is able to life, or rather get silenced up. Stinger now was unfortunately unable to get really too much damage in. The rotation though is going to be able to cause death now and destruction for Madara. Not unless Roboseta runs straight into the Bramble Maze, however. As Madara is going to decide to try and juke in the trees, unfortunately will not be too successful as soon as the recipe gets over to him. Sunstrike now for the kill onto the Maiden. It's pretty easy, but now uh, we're going to look to turn with the Cold Snap and the Silence. Yodomi trying to do whatever he can. Doesn't have a Tombstone quite yet, though. So the damage is full and complete out from Jaw Ranger as now he will be nuked down to pass charts. Make that net worth. He is going to be a very, very happy Rogue Warrior. Rogue Knight. Go field in the meantime, caught between uh, just a bad place to be. He is going to be nuked down by the likes of Roboseta as they will steal a war, a rune here. Whisper, uh, they don't have a stun for another two seconds for him. There's going to be a haste rune in the river granted to him, in the bottle as well. They shouldn't have, I mean, with the roots, maybe they have it. They do actually have the dust and break dust there to do that. They might now know something's coming from behind it, but they want this kill into Roboseta. Soul Rip to try and keep alive. There's a tombstone dropped as well. They need to make quick work of that. Roboseta into the meatball he goes. It's a spicy meatball, but not spicy enough, as he will at least be able to kill the chef before he goes. Now that Akil right on top of Madara, uh, unknown, doing a great job here. Just always keeping control. The dunk, you know, We've seen better, but that's okay. Overall, it knocks on the kill. As now that Akil pinned to the wall, should not allow him to chase after Stinger here. Wish very aggressive with another root. Might be able to set up for a kill here. They need a little bit more damage. There's the move speed slow and the decay just catching him. It's a three for one then in exchange for Robo Sith Thunder God's Wrath. They do Roche so fast. Make sure Stinger doesn't die there. Got nearly bashed to death. We have an Undyne now coming in, but yeah, unknown. They're not going to be able to contest this one in time. Roshan with, and I'm saying this in air quotes, only 8,000 HP here at this stage of the game, so they very easily are able to new come through. And now uh, uh, an Aegis here for Madara. Ready to go, so I see the need, or rather, I see the reason for him to go for the Dragon Lands first item. They're fighting bottom, though. Let's go ahead and catch the tail end of this one as they did catch Robo Seta in return. So far, all is they have is Skullfield. They will get a taunt onto Whisper. Down he goes. EMP easily dodged. Not that it would have done too much damage anyway, because it's, I think, only can't use that here. Whisper with the Blink Dagger ready to go in as Madara's will be receiving the buff. They want this kill into Robo Seta. Wish here actually breaking the passive. They have plenty of magic damages. Both Wish and Robo Seta nuked down. Tombstone drops next. DKB of Madara. Bottom. Roboseta receiving some TPs. They want this going to Chris Luck. He does have a BKB and no Ghost Walk currently at the ready. It's on cooldown for another 25 seconds into the trees. They will scout him here. They need a little bit more damage and they're not going to be able to get it. But Akil went to go farm the wave. And maybe if he was there with a right click or even better, the call would have been able to actually cancel that one. In the meantime, though, they have found Sven in the meantime and he has been farming. 
does not have a BKB yet, so he's rather easy to kill. As down he goes, they're going to deward him right away. They, they will catch Widge, maybe even a, a few more. He's getting pinned to the walls. That Akil Tombstone dropped here. They're going to look for the fight. Whisper taking a lot of damage from Zeus. Needs to back off as the Thunder God's Wrath will be dropped. Yadomi sailing alive here as Straw Ranger unable to actually get any procs off of the Marksman Shop. The, the Marksman Ship, rather. They're going to buy back Yadomi in the meantime stays alive. A Stinger going a little bit too deep will be caught. Out of mana is going to be the Drow Ranger. She's blown up immediately by the likes of Robo Seta, who is now has a Blink Dagger, by the way. Chris Luck looking to wrap around here beyond the Tier 2 tower and go for a kill as Yudomi is going to die there to the Bedlam. Battle round canceled there by the Axe as Chris Luck running around here. Invis will not be scouted. So they're going to be playing this one a bit safe. Whisper maybe looking ready to go in. They, of course, have a Sentry Ward and a Zeus, but Whisper now is going to be having that Blink Dagger. BKB freshly delivered now for our Sven. He's got that one ready to go, and they actually have vision up on the high ground. He goes. There's the axe call as well onto Schofield. That's going to be both initiators down for the count. One even dunk. Tombstone dropped here. They want more, and they have found now even Whisper. Doesn't have a BKB. He's in some serious trouble. Down he goes. Only finds one in the arena. Not going to net him much of that either. He can find another one there as Onda Singer. He just bobs back. They have even a root for him and another dunk at the ready. That's a dieback now onto Stinger. He was hoping that maybe go for a ward or something. Or sorry, make that a rune. Pays quite a heavy price for that one indeed. The difference is going to be uh, BKB versus the Blink Dagger as Bernat is going to be able to absolutely murder one. There's actually going to be now Roboceta potentially in trouble. Whisper, though, he can't get involved, but there's going to be the Cataclysm. Additional magic damage out from the Poke Wall will be able to nuke him down. Whisper looking to TP into the trees. Should be safe and sound now as the scan was red for a second, but now they know he's left. Flying by the edge of his teeth, and maybe even a little bit too close here as they will be caught. There's the silence, though. Rooted up immediately is going to be Madara. As now Whisper looking for a kill onto someone here. Madara, of course, with his BKB still active as they're going to be looking to close the gap. Sven right in their face. She goes. BKB to active. Sven, or rather, Drow looking to try and fight. Actually, will be able to nuke through the first look. That's God's strength and the BKB already used here. They need some support here for the Sven. And he's not going to find any as they also force away Drakil. He has been kited. Just like a piece of cake right there. He didn't have any problems. Chris Luck's still alive. He's dying shortly. They need a little bit more damage from him. As not even, I mean, thankfully here to the smoke because he wants to farm. Pushing bot lane all alone is currently going to be Stinger. He's going to TP back home. However, there's the jump. Oh, Chris Luck runs right into the axe. My goodness, Chris Luck. He was just instantly killed for that one. Schofield looking to try and support his comrade. Can't even get the terrorize off before he's dunked. And a, a big basher for Sven, which will allow him to actually fight versus the Trout Ranger a little bit more effectively. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh no, Whisper's been caught as well. They did get the turn here onto Berna. And actually, with the Cataclysm, they're going to be able to burn through his first life immediately. And first life, because, well, honestly, he doesn't even have the second life. So Akio looking to try and TP out. They can't land a bash. Tornado, not going to do a thing about the magic immune target there. And pinned to the wall, unable to get off the BKB or the cheese. It's going to be a pretty easy kill there against the Sven. Yadami as well will end up taking on to the Invoker because of the Cataclysm. You know, you don't want to be fighting in uh, close quarters there against that. As they're going to kill uh, Schofield quite easily. He does have buyback at the very least. Because he's farming in these very aggressive positions, he does have enough money for buyback. So can't always opt for that. As they're going to look to try and snipe this away. There's the buyback. So now they're going to know something's up. And the courier is in the pit here as well. That'll give him the vision to let him know, hey, there's two people in the pit. This actually Roche has an, ag uh, an agonim's blessing. As in they go, they actually land the call as well. And that's more than enough nuke damage here. Roshan's going to fall as well here pretty soon. Zombies in the pit, though. No one can actually jump in. That means Burton not claiming all three. So they're going to be completely going in for the fight. They will buy back immediately on Madara. Schofield with the Terrorize will connect on to only two. Actually make that only one. It only catches the Rakil. Now in some trouble is going to be, however, one. It's going to be better now to heal him up for a little bit, but that's fine. That's just the first life gone this time. Zeus Nimbus here being in the way is causing a really big problem as Chris Luck looking to try and jump onto the Rakil. Better now jumping on over to try and get even closer here to any enemies. Needs to try and hand this Aghanim's Blessing on over to someone, though. He's not yet done that. For now, they're going to go ahead and reset this team. Right? Who's, who's going to Every, You could see everyone going, Hey, Berna, it's really cool. You're my favorite carry that I've played with. Can, anyway, can I have that Aghanim's Blessing? 
Who's gonna take it here? Stinger, you madman? What are you doing? Okay, the Axe Call is gonna completely miss, but there's gonna be the counter initiation by Whisper, but he doesn't have BKB. He does have the arena, but doesn't have time to get it off. Rooted Down is gonna be Stinger. There's a very defensive arena. As Stinger pops the smoke, just confusion everywhere here. As now there's gonna be Tombstone drop, so the Drow Ranger can't even go in. In the meantime, still continuing to fight is going to be Chris Luck. He finds the kill onto the maid, and that's a dime back at the very least there. But he's been caught now as Superman Sven running on in to pop the Lincoln Sphere. They need a little bit more here, and this Invoker is going to be a bit too fast. For them to catch. It's only the maiden down for Unknown, so they might still look for a fight, honestly, if you show on the map. And that's what they're going to try and hunt for Chris Luck. They have the call now. They have found him. He did get the BKB off, but locked down here throughout the duration. They need to try and dust him up here. Or do they even need to? They just burst through him so quickly with the damage out from Berna. Dead for 100 seconds here, so they're going to look to try and force the buyback immediately from him. Birna did actually use the God Strength here, still has his own BKB, but no Aegis, of course. Cataclysm, I believe, is going to be up here quite shortly. Uh, there's no way for me to tell, unfortunately, but it should be up. And they're going to set to work now on the top of Tier 3 Tower, the first Tier 3. Stinger, we're going to permit stun up Berna. There's the 4 staff forward from Drakil, but he goes right into the Frost Arrow, however. He's going to stop the blink, because he will be able to blink out. Berna uses the BKB just to leave, as that will be then... The arena of blood used for not much gained. Oh, Whisper looking to try and abduct someone. Will not be successful. Pops the BKB. Running in like he has BKB, but doesn't. There's going to be the refresher now. Oh my goodness. Drow in trouble. Dunked. Immediately dead for two minutes. That's a dieback on a hurt. That's all your damage. Chris Luck then. It's a 2v5. As he's going to try and beat him as well as Whisper. Trying to prevent Beast Coast from being eliminated here from the LPG final series. Let's see if they can get it done as Berna now makes the jump in. Taunted will be Chris Luck. Still has that Aghanim Scepter to use, but they have now popped his Lincoln Sphere. Drakil with his own BKB active is going to be forced back. A little bit too much damage courtesy of the Tier 4 Towers. Whisper nearly dying. Highs, of course. A little bit of extra healing to stay alive as Wish now running in. We have Willow back in 5. As well as now Whisper in 20 seconds. But most importantly, Drow Ranger dead still for another minute and a half as Chris Luck taking a lot of damage here from the Nimbus. Needs to be a bit careful. Trying to nuke down Robo Seta is going to be Schofield. You madman. He's going to be absolutely murdered for this one, or will he? They should catch him relatively easily. And down he goes. We're low on mana there, but Wiz actually eating with some cheese to get back to full HP. Immediately jumping in as look at Berna go. They will reflect the sun at the very least right into the Cataclysm. BK beat up though. He's going to be able to chew right through those. Continue trying to fight versus Whisper as he's going to jump onto Chris Luck now. BK be active. They can't do much against him, and that's now Chris Luck dead for two minutes. He's going to get the kill onto Whisper as well, and last to fall will be Stinger. We'll have at least buyback here on Whisper. As now facing elimination, they're going to try and throw whatever they can here. 30 seconds left till the drought is back, but a whole nother 90 seconds, over 100 actually here, until they have their invoker. Whisper trying to force one at least into the pit unsuccessfully. Into the fountain, I should say. Hidomi will buy a book here, dropping a tombstone, but this is going to be the GG. Beast Coast then eliminated from the Movistar LPG final series by Team Unknown. We will take a 2-0